Hey there, hope you're very well. Just want to take a moment out before I get started into my weekly market update to wish you and your family a very happy and safe Easter. I don't know about you, I get very excited at this time of the year. Love Easter and love the long weekend and the extra time you get with your family, your friends, your loved ones. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope you have a lot of fun. Don't overdo it, but uh, do enjoy it. Have a lot of fun and stay safe. This week in my market update, my market blog, I'm actually giving you the first quarter market wrap. So just my take on what's happened this year so far, what's happened in the last 12 months with property prices, and what we can expect going forward based on some of the information at hand. So I'm not gonna carry on too much today into that, but what I wanna say is that one thing seems consistent, and, and it seems to be the catalyst for holding properties fairly buoyant in most markets across Australia, and actually improving prices in some markets as well, and in some cases, uh, very highly. So the average price or dwelling price in Australia at the moment has risen 8.9% over the last 12 months. 8.9%, that's fairly phenomenal. Off the back of 13 cash rate rises since 2022, March 2022. Now this year, the RBA has held that cash rate at 4.35%. And what most people are suggesting, and we'll see if this comes true, is that the RBA is expected to drop that cash rate uh, sometime in the second half of this year. Some saying as early as September, and some saying maybe not just one rate decrease, but maybe up to three decreases as well. What we're seeing, the agents I'm talking to, not in just our local market, but across Australia, we're a part of a, a fairly large network of agents here at EXP. The agents I'm talking to are saying pretty much the same thing. They're seeing buyer confidence return, the inquiries on properties increase, the number of offers coming through on properties increase as well. And I think that's a sign of an improving marketplace. Now this might be because of this buyer FOMO, they call it, the fear of missing out, where buyers are now thinking that the cash rate drops later this year, that will cause more demand for properties, more competition for properties, and may make it harder for a buyer to actually secure a property. So a lot of buyers returning to the marketplace now. And a clear sign of that is the auction clearance rates in Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne, mostly above 70%. Now, when the auction clearance rates are above 70%, that's a good sign of a very confident market. And what's clear to me is that the demand that's pushing into the property market is... is really a cause of this massive population increase, 549,000 to the end of September 2023. That's a huge amount of more people coming into the country needing properties for rent and purchase. And that demand, coupled by, in most marketplaces, stock levels 40% below decade averages, that demand and supply equation is just not lining up. And I expect that will continue for the next 12 months. And we will see prices stay firm and probably increase as well. Most people are saying like an 8% increase in property prices this year. I think it might actually be more in some marketplaces. Looking at the past year, or past two years actually, so since that first cash rate decrease in our local hinterland suburb areas here on the Sunshine Coast, I've looked at the data and we've seen the median house prices in most local hinterland suburbs increase by about 6 to 7% in the past 12 months. So that's fairly good growth for our local area here on the Sunshine Coast. But anyway, that's my thoughts. I'm going to unwrap it all in this week's blog, so check that out, and you can head over to martinutzi.com.au. Again, wishing you and your family a great, happy, safe Easter. If there's anything we can help you with, give us a call. We'll talk soon.